with more on the dead. And we, three business associates, have taken a break from our completely legitimate trade. How about four? I'm innocent. To eulogize some of our fallen comrades. Coach Vance held his pistol up. Stand and deliver, he cried out, to make the driver stop. The driver saw the highwayman in this aggressive stance, but the carriage kept a rolling right towards Vance. His shot rang out with a loud kaboom, a mantle wheel. It glanced, the ricochet, it struck him down, and the coach rolled over Vance. Escaping the constable, Claudette was riding, rushed over treacherous highlands, the road most dangerous. When inside her pouch she remembered a note from her to love, she reached to read it as she wrote the contents to learn of. She read the text distractedly, her horse still swift in stride. She reached the edge and went o'er the ledge, and well, Claudette, she died. Highwaymen innumerable were we. But thanks to Vance and Swift Claudette, we number only three. Now we've shared with you the downfall of our hapless late dear Vance. But what we haven't mentioned is what Vance had in his pants. See, Vance was quite forgetful, so he kept himself a map with notes to find our hideout where the entire gang would nap. So when that carriage ended him, his map was surely found, and the constable arranged a crew to bring our order down. Claudette was held a captive when the lawmen hatched their plot. And with a play, she slipped away to warn us what they'd got. But though, as you know, her mission ended short, as did her life. Damn notes from Van, her one true love, the cause of all our strife. And so it was that Hazard found the dandy highwayman. And the constable with all his crew descended on our den. Percival fell bloody from the constable's first shot, and with his dying breath he cried, That was my best ascot! Helen grabbed her powder horn, her flintlock for to load. Too close to the campfire, so Harry did explode. Romilly, Kent, and Hollis were all standing near the blast. So now we speak of Bromley Kent and Hollis in tense past. Our chef Louis was on about his precious creme brulee. But the lawman came and promptly sliced him into Louis Filet. But no one fought like Gaston. He was truly going to win. Until an adder came from somewhere and it bit him on the chin. Fracas sounds too awful to be true. That's only what happened in the first minute or two. We are the dandy highwaymen, innumerable were we. But since the fight that fateful night, 